Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. This is the morning market preparation video for April 10th, 2019. So yesterday, kind of an interesting day. We had a gap down open, but the bears really were unable to show that they had any teeth yesterday. And here's why I say that. Let's take a look at the short term chart. If we look at a 15 minute chart, you can see we had that gap down and move first thing in the morning. But throughout the day, the bulls really well defended that gap down. There was no conviction here on the bearish side um, in the diamonds. So taking a look technically here, we, we noticed that we, we did break back down below that support level. But we didn't, like I said, we really didn't get that major conviction of of a full-on bearish uh, move um, in that pullback. One thing I think is very key is we're still holding above this um, important level that transfers uh, you know, all the way through here and holding above that key level of 260 in the Dow. So we had a little bit of a bearish move yesterday, but I don't think there's any real major complications to this. Technically, uh, maybe showing a little bit of weakness there, but um, uh, largely I'm, I'm kind of surprised that the bears didn't take it more advantage of that. The bulls very well defended um, price levels uh, yesterday in the diamonds. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, you know, there's nothing about this pattern that says bearishness and the bears did not capitalize on any kind of a move down yesterday. Uh, the bulls held very resolute right in here, defending that price support and also defending trend. So we still look really, really good. You know, ahead of the, uh, the um, FOMC minutes today, uh, CPI um, early this morning uh, before we open. But uh, so there's still a lot of price action that could happen. But futures are pointing to a, a, a mildly bullish open this morning, showing that we just want to continue to rest possibly in here in a little relaxing uh, type pattern. The market's just kind of taking a break as we wait. But keep in mind the technicals here are really, really positive for those bulls to, if, if they can hold and defend those areas to really take a, a shot at attacking these, these highs up here. So, you know, um, at least at the moment, the bears don't seem to have enough conviction to really uh, push us lower. There doesn't seem to be any really major willingness by the market to sell off so let's take a look at the cues if we take a look at those cues you can see the cues also remained extremely resolute yesterday just chopping sideways on this little consolidation holding above a price support looking relatively strong bears didn't take advantage of that move down yesterday at all and you can see it really wouldn't be that much effort to uh, pop right off of there continue this nice trend in the nasdaq and push up into um, those all-time high tests of the nasdaq let's take a look at iwm now iwm is showing a little bit of weakness here um, it is the frailest of the markets at the moment and as you can see we did put in a failure pattern here gap down with some selling um, yesterday um, failing at that price resistance However, excuse me, um, however, we must um, also take a look at the fact that we're, we're holding above this support level. So although we had that pullback, um, we are looking at a little gap up this morning. We could bounce around in this area just trying to hold that support. What we want to watch for is if we do happen to get a breach down below into here, we would expect to pull back at least at a minimum back down to test this low in IWM. The possibility of a bounce up off of here though would certainly show some strength um, in the market and maybe um, IWM trying to catch up to the bullishness that is still showing in the other indexes. There's reason for caution but there's not reason for a lot of fear here at the moment. If we take a look at the VIX you can see that in the VIX. The VIX kicked up a little bit yesterday with that gap down. A little bit of fear maybe creeping in but it's certainly nothing to be overly worried about 
at least at this point, holding this price support here in the VIX, any rally back up into here, as long as that's defended um, and we don't see a breach above this level or a hold above that level, I think we're going to be okay um, in the VIX. So not a whole lot of worry here. Just a little tiny concern creeping up yesterday, but the bears really didn't capitalize on that yesterday. Let's take a look at... Um, T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio, you can see we did get that nice little pullback in that T2122 yesterday. We're approaching that 50% level in here, which means we've opened up the door to an upside move. Um, we have about an equal shot here, upside, downside, according to T2122. But that's, that's a good sign, the fact that we did pull back and we have opened up that door for that opportunity to uh, move higher. There's room there now to go higher, which is a good sign. Let's take a look um, at the economic calendar today. Uh, this is where we could get a little bit of activity today. First off, we have the CPI number out this morning and CPI um, is expected to come in somewhere around 3%. So doesn't, uh, wouldn't be, a, um, as long as that holds in that consensus area, it may not be a big driver for the market, but something we always want to pay attention to. Um, keep in mind that we have um, Fed chairman speaking um, every, every day this, the rest of this week. So watch uh, that, but it's unlikely that there's going to be much of anything said that the market will react to. Keep in mind, we still have the EIA petroleum status report that comes in now. Obviously, that can certainly move the market around a little bit, depending on, um, you know, whether those supplies are building or decreasing and supporting oil prices. And then uh, probably the big thing today that the market will likely wait for, it's fairly common that the market just kind of goes sideways and waits for those FOMC minutes. Uh, the problem is, is that I think everyone's largely expecting nothing um, coming out of there. They're, they've already forecast no interest rate increases this year. I think there's some folks out there hoping that there might be clues to potential rate cuts, but I, as long as the market continues to move higher, I cannot see the Fed, um, uh, you know, breaking from its uh, from its Fed funds rate right now of two and a half percent. The market just keeps uh, is willing to, to to continue to rally. There doesn't seem to be any major fear out there at the moment, and I think I would be really surprised if the FOMC made um, any kind of a um, gesture toward possible rate cuts. It could happen, but I would be surprised. And then also keep in mind, we still have a couple Fed speakers yet today um, to pay attention to. Um, with that, on the earnings calendar, we have a really light day. Um, 11, 12 companies reporting earnings today. Only a couple that are really very notable uh, to speak of. We have Delta Airlines reporting this morning. Uh, DAL looks like they've reported um, already and we're getting a gap up so a good positive report from Delta it looks like and then this afternoon um, BBBY might be one to pay attention to it's expecting to report um, after the bell today so keep an eye on that let's take a, um, a second here and I just want to say thank you to everyone um, who so kindly takes their time to uh, click those thumbs up buttons and and leave positive comments on the YouTube channel. I want to say thank you very much that you appreciate the effort and uh, follow through with that. Thank you so much. Uh, means a lot to me. It truly, truly does. You know, the goal here is not to make any money um, um, with these videos. That's not my intention. My intention is to help traders do a better job of preparing for the day, thinking about how they might want to approach the market for the day, because we all know that the market market shifts and changes there's lots of lots of nuance in the market it's always evolving and if we 
um, pay attention to that and approach the market every single day with our eyes wide open with a good thought process as to why the market may be where it is, what it might be reacting to today, we have a better um, opportunity to um, improve the um, our trading. So without jumping into any hype or any kind of prediction whatsoever, just taking a look at that market and, and really focusing in on what uh, those key elements are let, telling us about direction of the market. Let's um, um, also, I want to say thank you for those who do subscribe. Click that subscribe button um, on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you uh, make sure and get notified when I post one of these videos. Also, um, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. It's free to everyone and um, I do appreciate um, everyone who takes the time to do that. Thank you much. So with that, everyone, hey, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. There's some really good charts out there. Although the market has been a little bit tepid, a little bit, you know, concerned, kind of a wait and see um, approach, waiting for um, uh, both FOMC and then possibly even waiting for um, earnings season kickoff here on Friday. But there are still good charts out there really showing up um, and showing good positive uh, signs. Let's take a look at PAYX. You can see PAYX and all of these alerts that I've had on this chart. And we just continue uh, to move up this uh, up up this trend looking really really good very positive trading here and you can see this nice little tight consolidation off of this trend what we want to wait for is that bullish signal that we're going to pop through and continue this move higher the PAYX looking very very good you guys know um, I'm in Qualcomm and have a very nice profit um, in the Qualcomm position and Qualcomm pulled back yesterday and I was starting to get just a little bit concerned in it. Um, you know, current profits in this trade are so um, so substantial that I'm not really worried about some kind of a pullback. And, and this uh, trade is also hedged. But at the same time, I don't want to see this break down. So if we can get um, that positive move off of the top of here um, after this nice consolidating move across this um, support area, um, we have an opportunity. So keep an eye on Qualcomm. Any breakthrough uh, here to the upside, and you can see this morning we're maybe getting a little positive push here on Qualcomm. A little hammer pattern yesterday, a little bit of a positive push this morning so um, watch that for a potential uh, buy signal entry or re-entry into the trade because uh, I know a lot of the a lot of the members uh, made really good money on this trade already from our entry position right down here so um, also I think we need to be paying attention to um, stocks uh, like Cisco Cisco beautiful chart nice little trending uh, stair stepper and that's what um, I call these these are just uh, step up step up step up step up step up so we're waiting for that next pop out of here that next potential step up I know a lot of RWO members have made money on this and maybe looking at this for another re-entry so kind of keep that an eye on that it looks really really good to me as a possible uh, possible position Apple had a um, has had a really nice move up and I think technically here we've broken through this level of resistance and that looks just pretty darn good here now of course we are getting a little bit of a pullback right now maybe a little rest a little consolidation back into here might be something to watch for that next entry into the trade and you can see these price patterns just keep paying off over and over and over um, in that chart so Apple also looking pretty good you might want to take a look at Oracle Oracle hanging in there really nicely. A little bit of a bullish engulfing candle here yesterday. And you can see my price alert here on the chart. Um, has not been breached yet. We came close to that yesterday. But keep, uh, keep an eye on this. After breaking through this resistance, it's holding that support really, really well. And we'll want to watch for that next entry. And I think that next entry could come just about any time. Uh, just simply because we're showing um, such a, uh, a steady 
steady move and reaction to the trend in here. So watch this. If we move over just a little bit more in the sideways move, watch for that potential entry. So, hey, I want to remind everyone that every one of these trades that I describe and the way I show you these technical uh, technical patterns here, um, that um, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell. These are just merely uh, charts that you might want to pay attention to, put on your watch list, do your own evaluation. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And um, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Um, remember, the more folks that do that, the more the, the algorithm um, shows these videos to more folks. And the attempt of this uh, channel is really to just help traders uh, do a better job with their preparation for the day. And I, I believe preparation is far more important than luck. And trading the market doesn't require. Um, I've built a career out of the fact that I don't have to predict the market. I have learned to follow the market, work with the market, and I've been able to do that uh, uh, full time. So um, I highly encourage kind of taking a look at some of those technical patterns and working with that price action rather than fighting that price action or trying to predict the price action. So with that, everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. If you're struggling as a trader, please remember, don't give up on your dream here. Just keep working really, really hard. Um, believe me, if an old carpenter can figure it out, um, you can too. It took me years to figure it out, by the way. It, it's not a, a quick and easy thing, but um, maybe with some help, maybe with some focus on price action, maybe with some discipline to a set of rules, you can get there a lot faster. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.